This is Monday Motivation, episode number 238. The Melissa Ambrosini Show. Welcome to the Melissa Ambrosini Show. I'm your host, Melissa, best selling author of Mastering Your Mean Girl and Open Wide. And I'm here to remind you that love is sexy, healthy is liberating, and wealthy isn't a dirty word. Each week, I'll be getting up close and personal with thought leaders from around the globe, as well as your weekly dose of motivation so that you can create epic change in your own life and become the best version of yourself possible. Are you ready, beautiful? Just a quick little reminder that if you want to listen to my episodes one day earlier than they are released anywhere else, you have to download the app Himalaya and follow my show. Himalaya is free, super easy to use and has every podcast you can think of. I love that you can leave comments under each episode and even create episode playlists. So make sure you check it out today. Simplify your life. Choose to simplify your home, your food, your health, your clothing, your relationships, your bank accounts, your gadgets, your apps, everything in your life as a way to declutter your mind. If you feel like you have too much going on in your mind, if you feel overwhelmed and stressed, Maybe it's time to simplify all areas of your life. Start with simplifying your home. Often people will walk into my home, their jaw on the floor, and they'll say, where's all your stuff? And I'll say, what stuff? And they'll say, you know, your stuff, the stuff everyone has lying around their house. And I usually respond with, well, we choose not to accumulate stuff. And for those of you that have seen photos of our home on my Insta, or if you've been to it, you'll know that we don't have stuff. We have lovely things which have been very intentionally chosen and brought into our sanctuary. But we don't keep stuff. We circulate it if we no longer want or need it. We give things away to friends and charity as soon as we no longer need it. For me, it clutters my mind when I've got so much stuff in my space. And I'm a very visual person. And the type of person where The whole house, especially the kitchen, which is the heart of our home, it has to be clean and tidy and perfect before I go to bed so that when I wake up in the morning, I'm not greeted with dirty dishes, which only cause me to feel a bit overwhelmed. So I help myself out and I make sure my home is clutter-free as much as possible. For me, outer clutter is inner clutter. And I don't want that inner chaos and that inner clutter. So for me, having a clutter-free space in my home and in my office is really, really important to me. And also, we are a paperless home besides my beloved books, which means that we don't have papers stuffed in drawers or jammed in filing cabinets. And we don't have old journals just laying around. I believe that stuff is for purging and then getting rid of it. And Nick really inspired this within me because when we first met, he was a complete digital man, zero paper. And that really inspired me to save on our precious trees and to go digital. I have one journal beside my bed, which I write my gratitudes in each morning and do some journaling in if I feel to. But other than that, we are paper free. 
It's really liberating and feels good to know that I'm doing my part for mama nature. And also, it just feels so good to not have papers everywhere in your home. So you could definitely try that out. Another way that you can simplify your life is to simplify what you eat. I know there is so much confusion out there. There's so much controversy on what to eat, what not to eat. Just eat real whole foods. It's pretty simple. You don't need to get super fancy. You don't need to take 45,000 different superfoods and supplements, especially if you aren't under the guidance of an integrative health professional. I would not go taking things just willy-nilly if you haven't been guided by a holistic professional that you need that, if you haven't got the labs, if you haven't done the test to find out if you actually need that thing because you could be taking it and A, you may not need it and B, it's a waste of money. So do not be taking a million different things if you don't even know that you truly need them and just eat real whole foods. Just pair it back. Simplify your approach and eat real whole foods from mama nature. Get rid of all the packets and the boxes and the cartons and the things like that and just come back to real food. Simplify and eat real food. Okay, another way that you can simplify your life is by simplifying your wardrobe. It's time to get rid of the old underwear with the holes in it. Let go of the yoga tights that have lost their elasticity and get rid of every item that does not make you feel like a million dollars. A mentor of mine once said to me that you should only wear things that make you feel like a millionaire. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to wear a $500 dress around the house. I'm not talking about that. It's all about how something makes you feel. I have a $10 vintage t-shirt that makes me feel like a million dollars when I wear it. I don't know why, it just does. It's all about how you feel when it's on your body. So do a big clean out and gift your friends or a charity the things that you no longer need, want or desire. This will create space in your life, in your wardrobe for more things to potentially come in if you choose, but also mental space in your mind. There's something so therapeutic about decluttering and simplifying and streamlining. So get into that wardrobe and get rid of anything that is no longer serving you and gift it on or, or you know, I've cut up old t-shirts that have had rips and holes in them and use them as cloths and different things around the house. So we don't want to bin anything. We want to recirculate it, reuse it. We just don't want it in your cupboard if it doesn't make you feel like a million dollars. So simplifying your wardrobe is really important. The next area of your life that you can simplify is your relationships. If you are holding on to a relationship or a friendship where the other person has already let go, I know you know what I'm talking about here. You're holding on and that person has already let go. It's time to release your grip. You don't have to have 50 best friends. Hold on to the ones that are showing up. Pour love, time and energy to the ones that are in front of you, that are showing up, that are putting up their hand and saying, Hey, I'm here. I love you. I want to go deeper with you. Invest in those relationships. Water those friendships and let go of the idea that you need to have 10, 20, 30 best friends. Let go and create space for the current ones to flourish and for potentially new ones to come in. 
But that won't happen if you're holding on with white knuckle grip to the ones where it's time to let go. And you'll know within your heart, you'll feel it, you'll feel an energetic shift and you'll know and just release that grip, pour more love into the ones that are currently there and watch them flourish and thrive. Another area that you can simplify in your life is with your bank accounts and your super. So I don't know about you, but when I first met my husband, I had multiple bank accounts. I had super with a few different companies, but that just caused chaos. It caused stress. It caused overwhelm. So it's time to clean that up, get organized and sort out your finances because money is energy and money wants to be circulated, but it wants to land in the hands of a safe vessel. But if you are not a safe vessel, meaning if you have multiple bank accounts, if your money's all over the place and you don't look after it and take care of it, and circulate it for good, you know, giving to charities and giving to organizations and being of service, then it's not going to land in the palm of your hand. So clean up and get organized with your bank accounts and with your super, tidy all of that up and you will become a safe vessel for money to land. Another area that you can simplify in your life is with your gadgets. I know some people that have a couple of iPads, one or two iPhones, a desktop computer, you know, a laptop. Really, is that all necessary? Get honest about what you truly need and lovingly gift the rest on. I have one laptop and one phone. That's it. I don't need all these different things. I don't need all these gadgets. I don't need an iPad. I don't need all of this stuff. So get really honest about what you actually need and use and then gift the rest on and simplify your gadgets, your office environment. You don't need it to be overwhelming. Get really honest with it. Gift it on to someone else who really would benefit from it. So simplifying your gadgets is a really amazing way to simplify your life. And the last area that you can simplify is with simplifying your apps. Having 5,000 apps on your phone is only going to cause inner stress and chaos. So go through and delete all the apps that you don't use and then organize the rest into folders. You can have a folder for photo editing. You can have a folder for social. You can have a folder for work. You can have a folder for health, whatever are your interests. You can create these folders. I remember one of my friends, we went on holidays last year together and I looked at her phone and she had you know, on the iPhone, I think about five pages of apps. And I was like, whoa, babes does this not cause you stress? And she was like, oh, it's so overwhelming. So she had all the notifications on. So there was red lights dinging all the time. And she said, help me, Melissa, help me. So we went through and we deleted. I said, do you even use this app? She's like, no, I didn't even know how it got there. She's like, maybe my kids did it. So she went through and deleted all these apps. And then we put them into folders. And she was like, oh, wow, Melissa, this feels so good. There's something so powerful about decluttering, organizing, simplifying, streamlining your life. So simplicity is key in your digital life. You don't want your phone to cause you stress. So these are just some ways that you can declutter and simplify your life. What you can do is pick one each day for the rest of this week and try it out for the day and see how you go. And remember to stick to that new habit for three weeks, and then it will become part of your everyday life. 
So enjoy simplifying all the areas of your life. Have fun with it. Get your kids involved. Get your partner involved. Get your roommates involved. Have fun decluttering, simplifying, and remember to never throw anything out, to gift it to some charities or friends in need. Never throw anything out. Circulate it, circulate it, circulate it. And enjoy simplifying your life and the feeling that comes with that. Enjoy that. Soak it up and have fun simplifying your life.